So looking at this graph here, uh, I want to find the relative extrema. So I want to find any min or max points. Um, I'm going to solve for some zeros, but I want to also check to see what's happening at infinity. So as x goes to infinity of f of x, this is going to be the, the infinity to the power 2 over 3, which is going to be infinity and if I do that for the negative limit as x goes to negative infinity of f of x, uh, because the power 2 is going to make it positive, negative infinity, this is going to end up being, as x goes to negative infinity, negative infinity squared and then cube root is going to give me positive infinity. So it's just going to kind of go off, keep on going bigger and bigger and bigger to the right and left. Okay, so I want to find the zeros. So I'm going to solve this equation, make it equal to zero and solve. So I'm going to add one to both sides. I'm going to undo this power. Okay, so I'm going to use a power of three over two. So I get one. Uh, and this is going to be plus minus one. And because of that, that power two, we're going to have to make sure we have the plus minus one involved here. So solving this, I get x equals positive 1 minus 2 is going to give me positive 3. Negative 1 uh, plus 2 is going to give me positive 1. Okay, so I have my zeros then are going to be at positive 1 and positive 3. So it's going to be somewhere around here and here. Okay, so I'm going to make start making my table of values here. x, y, and at uh, positive 1 and positive 3, I get my two zero points. Okay, so now I want a derivative. So I'm going to differentiate this expression. My derivative is going to look like this. f prime of x is equal to 2 over 3 x minus 2 to the negative 1 third, and then minus the derivative of 1 is 0. So simplifying this, I'm going to end up with 2 over 3x minus 2 to the 1 third. Okay, so first of all, there is a restriction here. At x equals positive 2, there is no, the, the derivative is undefined. Okay, so we don't have a derivative defined at, at 2. There is a coordinate at 2. So if I plug in x is 2 into the equation, I actually get negative 1. So it actually has a point there, but the derivative is undefined there. So in this case, because we have a coordinate at that point, yet the derivative is undefined, it's likely some uh, kink in the graph. Okay, so I'm going to test the slopes as well. So f prime at, let's choose 0. Zero is a nice number to use. So f prime at zero, we're going to end up with a negative slope. Okay, so it's going to be going down. Okay, and f prime at, uh, sorry, that's not going to be at zero. I made a mistake here, sorry. That was x coordinate of two. Okay, so at zero, it's going down. And let's test at positive three. If I put positive 3 in, the denominator is positive, so I end up with positive slope. So it's going to be positive on this side. It's going to go up like that. Okay, so that's what the graph's starting to look like. I should get uh, the, let's get the concavity here so we understand. So we have, a, we basically know the graph's going to go like this and like that. Okay, we want to get the concavity of this though, so we're going to do the second derivative. So the second derivative, differentiating this, I get negative 2 over 9, x minus 2 to the negative 4 over 3. Okay, so simplifying this, I get negative in the numerator, 9x minus 2, and to the power 4 over 3. Now, because of that power 4, that denominator is always positive. Okay, so what that means then is, uh, for all values, we know that at 
two, we have no, the second derivative is undefined because of the restriction. But because of that power four in the denominator, we know that this expression, the denominator is always positive and this expression is going to be negative. So for all values, we're going to have negative concavity. So it's going to be curving down the whole time. So we could sketch in a few more points, but this is knowing that it's going to go all the way, keep just going up higher. It's just going to have go up, but it's going to be curving in this direction. And it's going to curve down through the zeros to that point. It's going to change direction of slope or, uh, abruptly, giving us this cusp, that, that non-differentiable point there at 2 and negative 1. That minimum point is that non-differentiable point. Okay, so the relative extrema in this case is going to be that one point at x is 2, y is negative 1 is our minimum point.